Hi, good you're watching this video. In this video, I'll show you 20 theory questions, the answers and explanations from the CBR category vehicle knowledge. And if you think after this video, I want to learn everything this way, you go to theorycourse.com and there you order your complete theory course. And complete means you get all the videos you need, all the explanations you need to pass the theory at the CBR, including the mock tests. And now we go to question number one. How many centimeters can a bicycle protrude from the side of a car? Answer A. 10 centimeters, answer B, 20 centimeters, or answer C, 25 centimeters. The right answer, 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters on the right and also 20 on the left. So not 35 left and nothing on the right, no, per side, 20 centimeters, no more. Can you attach a load to the roof of a car without a load carrier? Yes or no? The right answer is no. You have to attach two of those load carriers and on this you put your load. Question 3. The odometer is defective. Can you drive like that? Yes or no? And maybe it sounds a little bit strange, but you may drive with a defective odometer. The speedometer, 20, 40, 60, and so on, is required, but the odometer is not required. Question number four. How many meters can this indivisible load protrude from the roof of a car at the rear? Is one meter? 3.5 meters or 5 meters? The right answer is 1 meter. At the rear of a car, indivisible load may protrude 1 meter. And at the front of a car, also the load may protrude 1 meter. So 1 meter at the back, 1 meter at the front. And on the side? You must know it by now. Correct, 20 centimeters. And a red-white marking sign like this is never required if your load is protruded on a car. Only on a trailer, but that you will see in another question. Question number five. Your horn is not working. Are you allowed to drive on public roads? Yes or no? Right answer is no, the horn is required and if something is required and doesn't work, you are not allowed to drive. Question 6. How many millimeters should the profile of the main groups be at least? 1.6 millimeters, 1.8 millimeters or 4 millimeters? The right answer is 1.6 millimeters at least. And also the spare tire must have a profile of at least 1.6 millimeters. And TCBR can also ask how many millimeters should be the profile of the main grooves of a tire of a trailer must be at least and it's also 1.6 millimeters. So everything 1.6. Only if the CBR talks about a winter tire, then the right answer is 4 mm. So, the minimum depth of a winter tire must be 4 mm. Question 7. What is the maximum permitted length of a car and a trailer together? Is it 12 meters, 15 meters or... 18 meters. 
the right answer. Answer C, 18 meters. The maximum length of a car is 12 meters. The maximum length of a trailer is 12 meters. And in the Dutch law, 12 plus 12 is not 24, but 18 meters. Question 8. Must a driver of the third vehicle be in possession of a valid driving license B? Yes or no? Of course, he must have a valid driving license B. You cannot ask your nephew of 14 years old to help you. Uh, the one who is in the third vehicle also must have a valid driving license B. Question number 9. The load protrudes 1.5 meters behind the trailer. Can you drive like this? Yes or no? The right answer is no. If the load protrudes more than one meter after the trailer, you must use this red and white marking sign. So no, a red t-shirt or red plastic bag or red whatever, a red flag, flag huh? nothing, only a red white marking sign. And Indivisible load may protrude 5 meters after the rear axle, thus from the last wheel, 5 meters behind the trailer, but never more than the half of the trailer. So if your trailer is 4 meters, the load may never protrude more than 2 meters. And at the front, it's 0 0.000 meters. And the total width of a trailer with his indivisible load may never be more than 3 meters. Question number 10. The load protrudes 15 centimeters. May you drive like that? Yes or no? Right answer is yes, because the load may protrude 20 centimeters. So 18, 16, 15, everything is allowed. 21, 22, 23 is not allowed. Question 11. There is no spare wheel in the car. Can you drive like this? Yes or no? Right answer is yes. In the Netherlands, a spare tire, a warning triangle, a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, a safety jacket and a safety hammer or a life hammer are not required. Recommended, yes, but required, no. Question 12. How many centimeters can a bicycle protrude from the side of a car? And at the CBR you must push the right buttons. And the right buttons are 20 centimeters. And remember those 20 centimeters because this question you get a lot of times at the CBR. Question number 13. What is the purpose of valve caps? Answer A. To prevent that air escapes from the tire. Answer B. Preventing dirt, dust and rust. Or answer C. To prevent a flat tire. And it's not answer A. It's answer B. Because if you don't have valve caps, yeah, the Valve itself can be have dirt, can be rusty, everything. And then the air can escape from the tire. But the purpose of the valve caps preventing dirt, dust and rust. Question 14. What is the advantage of an anti-lock braking system? ABS. 
SRA ABS ensures that the braking distance is always shorter. Answer B ABS ensures that you can brake harder. Of answer C ABS ensures that the car remains stable during hard braking. The right answer is answer C. If you have ABS, the tires will rotate, and if the tires rotate, then you can steer the car. So, ABS is not that you can brake harder, or that the braking distance is shorter, or your following distance may be shorter. No, the only right answer at the ZBR, ABS ensures that the car remains stable. And in Dutch, ABS betekent altijd blijven sturen. Always be stable. Question 15. Which symbol corresponds to the temperature of the coolant? Answer A. Answer B. Or answer C. No, there is no answers. You must put a symbol at the CBR. And the right symbol is the first one. This is like a thermometer and a thermometer has to do with the temperature of the coolant. The second symbol has to do with the oil and the last symbol. If this burns on your dashboard, then there is something wrong with your engine. And if the CBR asks you what should you do if there is a red light on your dashboard, then you have to stop immediately at a safe place. Question 16. Which symbol has to do with the engine? And you have to put push on the right symbol. And the right symbol is the last one. This symbol has to do with your engine. The first symbol is ABS anti-lock braking system. The second one has to do with your battery. And the third one, do you know what it is? No, it's not a clock. It's the cruise control. Very good. Question 17. This light comes on while driving. What do you have to do now? Answer A. Continue the journey at a low speed. Answer B. Looking for a car garage to have the car checked. Answer C. Stop immediately at a safe place. And I told you two minutes before, if there is a red symbol at your dashboard and the CBR asks what should you do, you have to stop immediately at a safe place. Question 18. When which symbol lights up should you check the oil level? And this is the middle symbol. This one has to do with the oil. The first one has to do with the coolant. And the last one has to do with your brakes. Question 19. Green valve caps are fitted to the valves. So what is the reason for this? Answer A. The tires are made of environmentally friendly material. Answer B. The tires are filled with 100% oxygen. Answer C. The tires are filled with nitrogen. The right answer is answer C. If you let your tires fill with nitrogen, the garage put green valve caps on the valves. And they say the air won't go out the tire so fast. But you pay 5 euros per tire. So no reason to do this. And environmentally friendly material. This? Don't think so. And 100% oxygen. That's what you get in the hospital. So answer C. The right answer. Last question for this video. The steering wheel vibrates while driving at higher speeds. What could be the case? Answer A. The wheels are not properly balanced. 
Answer B, there is a strong side wind. Or answer C, the luggage is not properly distributed in the car. The only normal reasonable answer is answer A. If the steering wheel vibrates if you drive around 100 kilometers, then the wheels are not properly balanced. So we have to go to the garage, let your wheels balance and everything is okay. And those were the 20 questions for this video. I hope you learned something and if not, sorry, uh, that's good for you that you know everything. But I think the most people have learned something. And if you want to learn it all, you go to theorycourse.com and there you order your complete theory course. Okay, for now I say thank you. See you next time. Gracias. Adios.